Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's been a long time since our last video, but believe me, I was really busy preparing for my exams at my university uh, during like the last uh, two or three months. So I was really busy. But fortunately right now I have finished my exams and so we can return to the place we've stopped at. So we'll continue with our functional equations playlist. So in this video, as we mentioned in our last video, we will discuss how can we deal with uh, rational functional equations. So, so far we've discussed how to deal with uh, real functional equations, so from R to R, but today we'll discuss from Q to Q, or from Q positive to Q positive, like they are, we can handle them in the same manner. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So in this problem, we're asked to find all functions f from q positive to q positive. So from positive rational numbers to positive rational numbers. <coughs> Such that we have the following functional equation, which states that f of x plus y over x is equal to f of x plus f of y over f of x plus 2 times y. Okay, so how can we handle this functional equation? Okay, of course, here we cannot... Uh, uh, substitute with uh, any real numbers or with uh, any real number because uh, as we mentioned this problem is from q positive to q positive so we can only uh, substitute with rational numbers and of course we cannot substitute with zero because zero is not uh, a positive rational number so we can only for example substitute with one or two or uh, any positive rational number okay so let's take a look here at our functional equation so what can we do first of all? So like what, what, uh, what we do uh, always with uh, functional equations, we start with substituting. So what should we substitute with? Well, since we can only substitute with a positive rational number, so it makes sense to start substituting with one, for example. So let's take a look. So if we substitute at y and x with one, we'll get that the following, uh, f of two is equal to f of one plus, and here we have a, a nice thing that this is the same as this, so when we substitute y, uh, the same value as x, th this will become one. And of course, the same here. So y equals x means that y over x is one. So this is really nice and we should probably use this uh, idea or uh, notes. So if we substituted x and y with one, we, we will get f of two is equal to f of one plus uh, three. So f of two equals f of one plus three. But like that doesn't seem so helpful, so we will ignore that. What about if we substituted, for example, uh, y with 1? So actually here we will going to have f of x plus 1 over x equals something. But this is, again, not very helpful because what is f of x plus 1 over x? It's not so helpful like at the beginning. Maybe we can get something more interesting. So let's try substituting uh, instead of that x with 1. So what will we get? So we will get that f of y plus 1, this is nice, f of y plus 1, is equal to f of 1, this is nice, uh, of course plus 2y, plus f of y divided by f of 1. Now that seems nice because here we can link f of, f of y plus 1 with f of y. So let's actually do that. So actually we'll start with this substitution. So p, and as we mentioned, we substitute x with 1. And here actually I'm, I'm going to tell you like uh, some kind of secret, but it's not that important actually. But uh, usually when I uh, substitute y, like I keep, uh, so, so I substitute x with some, num some number like 1, and have y here, like I write x actually. Because it makes things easier uh, for you to compare between uh, relations. So assume that here we have, for example, f of y plus 1, equals something. And then we have another, uh, for example, functional equation, which is states f of x plus one equals something. Now, if you have f of y and f of x, maybe you, you will miss that these are the same, like the same expression. But if you have everything like x, you, will, uh, you, are, you are more likely not to forget that they are the same. So just, I'm going to write here x. It doesn't, uh, like it's not that super important, but let's actually do it. Okay, so here we have 
x is one, is one, so this is f of y plus one, but now it's f of x plus one. So we have f of x plus one is equal to, and this is now f of one, plus, uh, now this y is x, so becomes two x, and he, here we're going to have f of y divided by f of one, so it is just f of x divided by f of one. Okay, great. So like this is our first relation here, which seems useful because as I mentioned, this uh, lets us link f of x plus one to f of x. So if we have f of x, then we can evaluate f of x plus one. Okay, <clears throat> but can we do better? Or maybe like, can we conclude another functional equation? Okay, so let's take a look. So let's give this number one. Let's take a look. So as I mentioned, if we take a look here, you, you can see clearly that y over x, and here f of y over f of x. So if you have y equals x, so this will become one, and this will become one. Of course, this is better than this, like f of x divided by f of one. If you have like this is one, this is better or more beautiful. Okay, so let's try to substitute y with x. So basically we're going to do the following substitution, p x x. And we hope that we're going to get something uh, beautiful. So we're going to have again, not notice that here we're going to have f of x plus one. And this is already very interesting because here we have f of x equals one, uh, sorry, f of x plus one, and here f of x plus one. So now maybe we can compare the two relations. And as I mentioned earlier, like if we have here f of y plus one and here f of x plus one, maybe we will miss that. That's why like I prefer always to stick to x when we have only one variable. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we have f of x plus one. What about the right hand side? Here we're going to have f of x. And this is two uh, x. And as I mentioned, this is one. And of course, this is much more beautiful than this because again, we can uh, link x plus one to x, f of x plus one to f of x, but of course in a much cleaner way. So let's give this number two. And of course, now we're going to do like the simplest thing, which is to compare the two relations. So as you can see, by comparing one with two, the left-hand side is the same, meaning that the right-hand side is the same. Furthermore, two x cancels this two x. So we're going to get f of x over f of one plus f of one is equal to uh, f of x plus one. So let's write that down actually. Uh, we're going to have f of x plus one, f of x plus one is equal to uh, f of x divided by f of one plus f of one. Okay, so what does that mean? Actually, that means that we can find the value of f of x because we have only one uh, variable here, which is f of x. So that means that we're done, right? Because f of x times one minus one over f of one is equal to f of one minus one. So mean, that means that f of x is equal to this divided by this. And are we done? Well, actually no, because <coughs> take a look. We can only divide when this is for sure not zero, right? But what if this is zero? So if it is zero, we cannot divide uh, by this. So here we need to discuss two cases. Either this is not zero, meaning that f of x is equal to this divided by this, meaning that uh, in other words, f is constant. But let's check, is the constant function a solution? So let's substitute f of x with c here, and let's uh, see. So we're going to have c is equal to c plus one plus two y. Of course, this is wrong, because this will give us that two y equals zero, or two y plus one equals zero, and of course, this is not always true. So that means that this is zero for sure. And of course, if this is zero, then f of one equals one. And indeed, if f of one is equal to one, then we are going to have zero equals zero, and so this relation holds. So what does that mean? That means that the only result we've come up with is that f of one equals one. So let's actually write that and erase this here.
So now we know that f of 1 is equal to 1. So let's write this here maybe. f of 1 is equal to 1. But actually this is really helpful. Okay, but why? Well, take a look. What is this relation? Like why, why is this really clean and beautiful? Because it tells us the value of f of x plus 1 provided the value of uh, f of x. But take a look. Now we know that f of 1 equals 1. That means by substituting x with 1, we can know the value of f of 2. And of course, what is the, the value of f of 2? Let's take a look. f of 2 equals f of 1 plus 2 plus uh, 1, meaning that f of 2 is 4. Furthermore, you can know the value of f of 3. It is 9. 4. It is 16. And so on. And of course, you can clearly see that f of x equals x squared is the right solution. But of course, we need to prove that. So actually, now we know one thing for sure, which is that f of x is equal to x squared, but not for all positive rationals, only for positive uh, integers, or in other words, like uh, positive natural numbers. So we can now say that f of n is equal to n squared. So let's write actually, uh, let's write that down. So the first result is that uh, f of n is equal to n squared for, of course, uh, positive integer n. This is the first thing. Let's uh, put this in square. Okay. And the, the other thing we can uh, clearly see is the following relation. So here we know that f of x plus 1 is linked to f of x. But what about in general? Can we generalize this? What about f of x plus 2, f of x plus 3, or any f of x plus n? Can we like find a relation that uh, links f of x plus n to f of x? Well, of course we can using induction. So I'll leave this actually to you uh, as a homework. Maybe you can prove it uh, in the comments section and I will pin the uh, solution or the proof for this uh, relation and I will just now write it down. So actually it is the following. So f of x plus n is equal to f of x clearly plus 2 in x plus, uh, I think it's n squared. Yes, because x squared, this is this n squared plus 2 times n times x. Okay, great. So now we have this uh, beautiful relation, which links f of x plus n to f of x. So let's give this a number 3. Okay. What next? So now we know that f of n is equal to n squared, right? Great. So now we need only to find the value of f of a over b, or like f of x over y, where x and y are just integers, because uh, we just need to find uh, f of rational numbers, and any rational number can be written in the form a over b, right? So let's actually now do that. Let's substitute, like with uh, maybe n and m, where n and n and m themselves are uh, positive integers. So actually, let's just substitute the same uh, functional equation, but instead of any random uh, rational numbers, we'll just substitute with positive integers. So let's say we're going to substitute p, uh, maybe m, n. Let's take a look now. So actually, here this, what, what is this now? Now this is f of m plus m over n, right? The left-hand side is f of m plus m over n. But notice that this is not really beautiful. Of course, this is uh, like the thing we need to simplify. But how can we simplify this? Like, what do you think we should use here? Well, clearly, we're going to use this one here. Because this lets us simplify f of x plus n to just f of x. And here, of course, we're going to let x be this y over x. And this, uh, we will keep it as m. So, for example, here, we're going to have f of m plus m over, or sorry, plus n over m. This will, ju will just be, uh, or actually, let's write it in order not to make any mistake with substitution. So, f of m plus n over m. Now, what is this? This is uh, f of n over m. So, we're just applying number 3 of n over m 
plus uh, 2nx, which is in this case 2m times this. So it is just 2n. And n squared is now just m squared, actually. So it's m squared. So now the left-hand side, this, is just this. So f of n over n, of course, this is the thing we need to evaluate. So if we can uh, prove that this is n over m squared, then we are done. So the left-hand side is now just this, f of n over n plus 2n plus m squared. But what about the right-hand side? <coughs> so the right-hand side is very simple to calculate because take a look. x is now m. And uh, f of m is just m squared, right? Remember, we know that f of uh, any positive integer is just uh, this integer squared. So we know that f of m is now m squared. So let's just write m squared. What about this? This actually is f of n over f of m. So again, this is just n over m squared. So actually, it's n squared divided by m squared which is just n over m squared, right? <coughs> and then we have 2 times y, which is in this case uh, 2 times n. So it's just 2n. So now let's take a look. Let's compare. So first of all, we have m squared here with m squared. They cancel each other. We have 2n and 2n here. They cancel each other. And guess what? We just now have f of n over m is equal to f of uh, n over m squared. And that means, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that we are done. So in other words, we can write that uh, our solution is just the following. Let's write it here. So f of x is equal to x squared uh, for any uh, positive rational number. So f of x equals x squared. But of course, we need to uh, substitute to, in order to check in the original functional equation if this is a solution or not. So let's take a look. So let's take a look here. x plus y over x squared is what? It's x squared, which is this, right? Mm -hmm. And y over x squared is this, y squared over x squared. And 2 times x times y over x is just 2y, which is this. So fortunately, indeed, this is the only solution. f of x equals x squared, and uh, it is indeed a solution. So we are done. So as a summary, let's describe what we have done in this problem. So the first of all, we took uh, a closer, uh, a very close look at the functional equation. And we saw that uh, we can only substitute with 1 as a simple number. And we saw that the by substituting p1x. Because this, in this way, we can link f of x plus 1 to f of x. So that was the first thing. Then we noticed the like cool property that if you substitute y with x, you are going to get this as 1 and this as 1. So we did that, and we got the following, number 2 property. And we compared them together in order to get f of 1 equals 1. And then when we uh, knew that f of 1 equals 1, we immediately noticed that f of n is equal to n squared for any integer or for any positive integer. In, and uh, also we got that. Uh, uh, property number 3 that links f of x plus n to f of x. And then, of course, we did the same for the first uh, or the original functional equation in order to get that f of n over n is just n over n squared. So like this is uh, a simple way in order to deal with uh, rational numbers. Like actually we didn't do anything new, just like simple uh, ideas that we've learned so far. And actually in the next video we're going to discuss a very beautiful function equation like it is very similar to the all-in-one video, uh, like the previous video. But actually, this will be with two functional equations instead of just one. So if you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And see you guys in the next video.